Arithmetic versus geometric sequences. Let's do this. Arithmetic sequences look like this. So for example, you have one, three, five, seven, nine. Notice that the common difference or the pattern that they're having is just one plus two, three plus two, five plus two, and so on. That's the reason why this is an arithmetic sequence because either you add or you subtract. And you're gonna see that in, in the geometric ones, we're gonna either multiply or divide. With that said, I know that my D is going to be equals to two because that's the common difference from the previous term to the next term. I'm going to label then A1, that's the first term, A2 is the second term, and so on. Then from there, if I want to find the 15th term, look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the first term is one. By the way, the first term could be anything other than one, but in this case is one. The difference is two, and n is equals 15 because we're looking for the 15th term. Using the formula, I do a to the n equals to a1 plus n minus one times d. I just plug it in and I have the 15 right here because that's your n. The first term is one plus 15 minus one times two. From there, look at this. The 15th term is equals to 29. When you plug it into the formula and then you can test it and you'll see that if you go one, two, three, all the way to 15, the 15th terms of the sequence is going to be 29. Now we have the geometric sequences. Notice that, let's say that we have a pattern, two, six, 18, 54, 162, and so on. I can find out the common ratio by dividing the term after over the term before. So I can do six divided by two or 18 divided by six and so on. And you're gonna find out that the common ratio in this case is three. Because of that, because I, if your common ratio is a multiplication or division, then you have a geometric sequence. Because R is the common ratio, I know that the first term is two, second term is six, third term is 18 and so on. Now, if I want to find the 10th term, I need to use this formula. Notice that the formula is a to the n equals a to the one times r n minus one. So this is going to be n is equals to 10, just like in the other formula. The first term is two. The radio, I found it right here, and that's three. And then 10 minus one. Two times three to the ninth is gonna give me this huge number. And if I do, if I test it and I find the 10th term, bingo, I get the same. Conclusion. If you have to add or subtract to get the next term, you have an arithmetic sequence. If you have to multiply or divide, you have a geometric sequence. With that said, if you have those two formulas, then you can find the nth terms of any sequence. I hope you enjoy.